Mm -hmm. So I think now it's time to to explore uh, a few more concepts to create the app we we went in first place. Right. What's the first concept we, you think we need to approach now? Yeah. Uh, if you go to to that image uh, that we are using as a reference for for this app on the, mm -hmm. the last step. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So we can have an idea. Uh, we can see that we are showing uh, the tasks in, in the middle. Yeah. So this where all the tasks are, are appearing, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, usually, uh, mainly for mobile apps, we are not using tables, right? We are using this thing called a gallery. So th this is the name of the object in Power Apps. This uh, a gallery, right? The sh uh, a gallery shows basically tabular data, but in a more uh, flexible way. We don't have that that structure of a table and in which we have a lot of columns. No, we can display uh, the data uh, in a more flexible way. So uh, everything is free <laughs> inside of these uh, rows. Okay, let's see. So this is one thing we are going to use in the app. Uh -huh. uh, let's take a look to understand a little better because this is very important. Uh, I, I would say there is no, uh, a hundred percent of the app uses gallery of the apps. Right. Not not a hundred percent. Let's say ninety nine percent. So yeah. it's a yeah. There's galleries for showing data and basically you are building an app to, to show some data and enter some data. So gallery is very important. One of the basic concepts of Power Apps. Right. But okay. before that, uh, mm -hmm. we need to connect to our data source, right? Yes, because right now we still didn't see the Excel file here, the Excel data. Right. Right, right. OK, just one thing before that. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Let's just rename this thing, this to two elements here. So the okay. image, let's just rename to EMG user pick. And the other, let's rename to LBL user email. Okay, now our apps very, very good. Very, you know. Okay. Okay, has the, the best, best practice, yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's add the data. So clicking here in this icon here, the data icon, we can add data. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, we are connecting to Excel online. So Excel mm -hmm. online, that's the second option, business. This mm -hmm. one is to add static data, import to your app. I even have a, a video in this channel. Uh, you can take a look in there, in there. But in this case, we are going to connect to a table that's inside Excel somewhere online in online storage and use it as a data source. In this case, Excel line. Let's click on connect. And it's going to show all the places we may have Excel files inside. Let's see. So here it shows all the groups I have, all the, the document libraries, uh, and so on. In this case, uh, it's in this uh, group live videos because I know mm -hmm. that the name of the site is live videos. Mm -hmm. Let's see, clicking here. Let's see, uh, we have the documents folder in, on it. So it's the documents library. And here is my file, my tasks. So if I click here, it will show the tables. So the task table, remember we just created in the beginning of this video. Mm -hmm. And now it's in here. We also had another tab with data, but doesn't show here because we didn't assign, we didn't mark as a table. So here okay. it will show only the tables. Okay. Are you going to say something, Leo? No. So this spreadsheet could also be uh, on OneDrive, for example. Yes, yeah, could be on OneDrive. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are going to share with more people, uh, mm -hmm. it's easier in a SharePoint library because you mm -hmm. can just come here and share the library because mm -hmm. all the users that are going to use the app they need to have access to the underlying data 
if mm -hmm. they don't, they are going to open the app and nothing is going to happen. So it's not going to show anything to them. Right. Right. So I'm going to click, cl click on connect. Uh, here it will insert a new column to the Excel table to just identify the record because the record needs to have a unique ID for the mm -hmm. app to recognize as a unique register in the table. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, I'm going to click, so leave it selected, insert auto-generated ID. But if we had an ID already, we could use uh, and select the column here. In this case, uh, we don't. So let's make it insert a new column. Okay, just click on connect. And here in the data, now we have our task table. If we had more tables, they we could add. If we had different data sources, we could also add in here. Uh, and we could see all the data sources that we are using. Rudy, let me give you some clap by <laughs> making this task then. <laughs> Good. Right. Go on. Okay. Let me do something too. <laughs> A little music. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's nice. All Celebration right. time. <laughs> okay. Um, now we are connected to the data. Nothing shows in here yet because we didn't add to our screen. We need to have a way to show this data. So that's where galleries uh, are used. Yeah. Okay. Let's try a, a data table first, just to make a point that, you know, data tables won't look real good on mobile apps. Okay. So let's, uh, maybe let's keep this screen uh, to be the welcome screen later. Let's okay. create a new screen to show the data. So in this case, we are going to have two screens. Later, we can uh, make it look better, even mm -hmm. make a little better than this one, showing the user image and information as we already did and add more texts and icons. Okay. So let's create the second screen where we are going to be showing the gallery. So, so we don't mess things here. I'm going to go to insert new screen blank. We have some models in here already, but mm -hmm. let's get start from blank so people see how to use the elements from scratch. Okay, now we are going to insert a data table as you mentioned. So go to insert data table. One, when the table is inserted in the app, it shows our, our tables here that we have connected. So in this case, it's tasks table. Let's mm -hmm. click on this one and we, it will load the data. Uh, yeah, you need to, to go for edit fields and start to adding the, the fields. It, Okay, sometimes it loads, right? I don't know, depending on the data source, it auto-generates. Mm -hmm. Yes, but in this case, it didn't bring the column. So we select the table, go here to edit fields and add fields. And we have all the fields here, the task description, status, due date, created date, and completed date. Mm -hmm. The order we click here is the order that they appear in the, the table. So. Uh, description status, do, uh, created date, due date, and completed date. All right. Okay. I'm going to mm -hmm. click on add. And here we have the table. Okay. Yeah. So in, in my opinion, <laughs> this looks just awful. Uh, it's not a good experience for uh, a mobile user. What do you think? Yes. Yes. I also don't like because there is this scroll bar here. We could do in a better way, like for example, in this example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we cannot do this with tables. It's not very customizable. There is no much we can do. So that's right. why we use galleries. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can keep this table in here if we want and remove later. Mm -hmm. Just give, put it, it in here, then just to have something in the screen. And let's uh, add a gallery to show the same data, but in a format that's more like this one. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go to insert gallery. And we have uh, several examples here, the vertical, horizontal and flexible height. They mm -hmm. can have some uh, demo data inside and or they can be blank. Mm -hmm. Which one do you prefer here, Luke? I think we can start with a blank vertical okay. for this vertical. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Okay, again, it was just inserted and it asks for the input table. In this case, let's select tasks table. Okay, so we have the gallery here. It's empty, there is nothing showing because we need to add the fields to it. Let me just see here in the edits. See, it doesn't show anything. Why is that? It's different from the table, right? Mm. No, actually, it should be showing already. I don't know why it's not showing. Should? Yeah. I, I never used this. I just clicked here uh -huh. out of curiosity. I, uh, I just thought, do, are they going to appear in here? Uh -huh. But usually, I just come here, select the, the, the this square in the top, so it's the templates, and okay. start inserting here things here. Then it right. inserts. And, and also, you have a, a few predefined layouts. Right, you yes. Can, uh, we could quickly... We try okay With let's titles, see for example subtitle. yes uh image title and subtitle in this case we don't have images in our example mm -hmm. but if we had we already would already have this layout so we could just replace the image here by the image in the the uh, data source right and in this case let's select uh title subtitle and body. So we have all texts here, then we can change. It's easier than inserting one by one. Mm -hmm. Now, we, if we click here in the fields, they appear. So we need to have the elements here, the labels, to select what fields are going to appear in the label. That's why it, it didn't appear when the gallery was blank. OK. Yes, that's what I, I, I think. OK, uh, here we have the gallery, as we see it already shows our three items, but there is some uh, repeated information here because the gallery doesn't know exactly what we want. We have three labels inside it. The first is showing the status, the second is showing the description, and the third is also showing the description. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have this, this item thing here in front mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. It means, for example, that the gallery shows uh, the tasks table. So all the items from the table. And the first item here is our template. So we edit this template and it changes all the others. So it uh, replicates our what we do here to the others. Mm -hmm. And each line is an item. So in this case, this item means this item. <laughs> it's already what it yeah. means. Yes, the, the reference for for that specific record that is showing. You. Yes, oh yes. So this item here will be the first uh, task. This mm -hmm. item here will be the second task, and so on. But we are only editing the first uh, template mm -hmm. here, this part, and it will auto replicate to the others. Right. Okay. So the first one is the status. It's one or zero. One is completed and zero is pending. Mm -hmm. The second is the description. And the third, we can change it here. Instead of the description, we can have, for example, the created date. So it shows when it was created. We can, we can also show the due date and the completed date to show all the information here. Mm -hmm. So in order to do that, we just need to add a new label. So with any element here selected, I just go to insert text label. It can be here in the top or here in the left pane. So insert text label. It will insert here with some information inside because Power App doesn't know what we want to show. And we can change here in this property. So this item dot due date. Okay, and we can do also the completed date. I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, put here in the end and change to completed dates. Okay. Uh, it's a little messy. We can make all look the same. So select all of them and make the same same font size. Let's say eight, too small, so 10. And we can align them all at once here in, if we click with do a right click, we have the align and we can align middle, for example, or align top. Let's keep align middle. They are all the same height, so it's fine. Let's uh, center the text vertically for all of them. 
So here in the vertical align, we have the middle. We can change the font as I did and do other things, but uh, right now I think it's good. Let me just uh, resize. Let's make. Uh, let's uh, let us make them with all the same size. Let's say. Let's see a good size here. Hundred thirty. Yes, and we can also distribute them horizontally to make they be them be spaced evenly. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can put the description at the top and the status below, but we need we are going to look at here later to to make better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what what do you think now, Leo? What should we do? Yeah. Right. So I think we completed one more task. Uh, <laughs> we understand now how to to connect the data into a gallery and how a gallery works how we do to show the data and yeah 